In order to remember a skill or experience, the memory needs to be strengthened through a process called memory consolidation. Although it is known that brain waves play a key role in this process, the mechanism that forms their shape and rhythm had not yet been determined until now. Researchers have discovered that one of the brain waves needed for consolidating memories is dominated by synaptic inhibition, which they believe could be a main factor in memory consolidation. Memories must first go through a process called memory consolidation in order to become stronger, which is where brain waves come into play. The brain waves linked to stabilizing memories, called sharp wave ripples, help the brain set what you've learned or experienced as a quick instant replay. And the sharp wave ripple is also one of the three major brain waves that travels out of the hippocampus, the center of memory. The new study is a collaboration between professors Peter Jonas and Joseph Xixvari at the Institute of Science and Technology Austria, who found the mechanism that generates this oscillation of neuronal activity in mice. Our results shed light on the mechanisms underlying this high-frequency network oscillation explains Jonas. As our experiments provide information both about the phase and the location of the underlying conductance, we were able to show that precisely time synaptic inhibition is the current generator for sharp wave ripples. When neurons oscillate in synchrony, their electrical activity adds together so that measurements of field potential can pick them up and SWRS are reported as the most synchronous oscillations in the brain. These waves were named after the characteristics experts observed while measuring them. There are slow sharp waves with a triangular shape with ripples or fast field oscillations. For this study, the team set out to identify whether ripples are caused by temporal modulation of excitation or of inhibition at connecting points in brain cells or synapses. The researchers monitored 17 mice while they were fully awake, groomed themselves and moved around like normal mice do. SWRs play an important role in the brain, but the mechanism generating them has not been identified so far, probably partly because of technical limitations in the experiments, Xixvari said. We combine the Jonas Group's experience in recording under-voltage clamp conditions with my group's expertise in analyzing electrical signals while animals are behaving. This collaborative effort made unprecedented measurements possible and we could achieve the first high-resolution recordings of synaptic currents during SWR in behaving mice. Following the experiments, the team demonstrated that the frequency of both excitation and inhibitor events at the synapse increased during the SWR, reports Studium at. But it was found that the synaptic inhibition dominated over excitation during the production of SWRs. Finally, the researchers were able to identify the neurons that are mainly responsible for creating SWRs. The authors propose a model involving two specific regions in the hippocampus, CA1 and CA3. In the model SWRs are generated by a combination of tonic excitation from the CA3 region and phasic inhibition within the CA1 region. Jian Gan, first author and postdoc in the group of Jonas, explains the implications for temporal coding of information in the CA1 region. In our ripple model, inhibition ensures the precise timing of neuronal firing. This could be critically important for preplay or replay of neuronal activity sequences and the consolidation of memory. Inhibition may be the crucial player to make memories permanent.